Hey guys, Josh here. Um, I've been posting a lot of pictures of Gar um, so far this year and I've had a bunch of my friends and, and people on Facebook and stuff sort of ask me how uh, I'm catching them and what rig I'm using. So I went ahead and tied up a, a little rig here to show you guys how I'm doing it. Um, keep the video short, pretty much just talk about the rig. That's the most important part of catching them. Um, so anyway, I have my braided line which is uh, no less than 20 pound braid on bass gear. Um, if you're dealing with bigger gar, obviously bump it up. But I have 20 pound braid to a uni to uni knot, uni to uni, and that's gonna be 30 pound monofilament leader. Um, I use about a roughly a two foot leader. I like to keep it in the top half of the water column, so, um, you know your float to your hook should be no more than about two and a half feet. I like to keep it high up in the water column where the gar are um, when they're gulping air and feeding. Um, as far as your float goes, I prefer um, a clip-on cigar style float. Uh, weighted, I prefer weighted. Um, it's more streamlined than a regular round bobber or round float um, which gives less resistance when the fish is pulling it and um, the fish is less likely to feel it and let go um, but like I said it's clip on it's weighted um, I use a weighted float because sometimes I fish with shiner minnows and I don't use any sort of split shot or anything so obviously you can't cast it very far so it helps to have that um, weight on there um, obviously if you're fishing deeper you can use a slip float rig but I just prefer fishing up on top for them so that's what works for me um, and like I said, your mono leader down to, um, I use a very small hook. Um, this is just, I'm not exactly sure what size it is, um, but I just use a small uh, bait holder hook like what you'd use to catch brim. Um, and I have a few reasons for that. Uh, with this rig, you actually have to allow the guard to swallow it, to swallow the hook and, and the bait and everything. Um, so a small hook helps because you're actually hooking the internal portions of the gar. So if you use a small bronze hook, it'll rust away a lot easier than some more heavy-duty stuff. And it's less less likely to injure the fish. Um, but this hook works, this style of rig works in two ways. One, if you're fishing um, with brim, uh, I generally like to use this size brim. Um, just, you know, a little bit smaller than, than hand size. Um... I just nose hook them and just let them swim around like that. When the gar comes up to eat, he'll, he'll uh, bite it head, you know, bite it, and then he'll configure it to where he can swallow it head first. That way, the gills and everything won't um, injure him while he's eating it. So what happens is, you, if you're using a rig like this um, with a small hook, and he actually gets it down in his gullet, his 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 throat um, won't open up big enough to actually let this bluegill come out in reverse so you actually if you're using brim or bluegill or something like that um, the fish itself will actually aid in the um, hooking process I guess you could say it'll get stuck in his throat and and you're actually fighting him against the the brim he won't be able to to regurgitate it that easily um, but also if you're fishing with say shiner minners or something where that actually doesn't come into play it's just nice to have the hook and it'll actually hook some flesh down in there and, and get them that way um, but that's that's pretty simple no treble hooks um, treble hooks can injure these fish nothing really stainless or, or nickel plate or anything like that just stick with a simple bronze bait holder hook um, when you catch them when you land them you just clip the line right at right at the edge of their mouth and the hook will rust and dissolve and, and they'll be able to pass it a lot easier than something bigger and uh, more heavy duty. Um, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty fairly simple rig. Um, there's nothing really high tech about it. Um, but the main thing to remember when you're using this is uh, don't get over anxious. Um, when your bait actually gets taken by a gar, they actually have to swim away with it because generally they'll be around other gar. So what they'll do is they'll pick up your bait and they'll take off really fast um, if they're around other gar. And they'll take it away from them to where they can configure it and swallow it head first. So don't set the hook 
as soon as you get picked up by a fish. Let it run for, you know, a couple minutes. I generally like to wait, um, you know, two, three minutes till I'm, till I'm really comfortable with the fact that they have it. A lot of times, um, if you're using like bass tackle, like a 2500 series reel or something, a lot of times these fish will take off and almost spool you. Spool you. They'll take you down to your backing, so you really have no choice um, but to set the hook. But um, you know these fish are a lot really fun to catch, and I generally don't um, give away really specific knowledge like this because it, it took me a long time to find a rig that really worked for these fish. But uh, you know I see a lot of guys bow fishing for them, and I personally think that's a waste because. These are actually native fish to Virginia and, and most of the country. Um, Longnose gar and, and you know other gar species are actually native species. So the guys that are arguing that they're detrimental to the population of other fish, you know, it's not exactly true because they were here first. And, and if you really pay attention to gar, they don't eat um, you know egregious amounts of game fish and stuff. They can only eat stuff they can fit in their mouth and you know a lot of times bass and stuff bigger than six inches they can't really do anything to so uh you know that's why i'm giving this rig out i want to promote um, the catch and release fishery for these fish um they're really fun to catch and and they're really a blast on light tackle and even um you know mid-grade catfish tackle you know something that you would use for say channel cats or, or smaller cats if if you if you use like you know, a 6,000 to 6,500 series Abu Garcia baitcaster, or even, you know, a 2,500 to 3,500 series spinning uh, outfit. Um, they, they're a lot of fun. They, they fight you. They're, they're like torpedoes. They fight in one direction, and, and as soon as you get them turned around, they're jetting the opposite way as fast as they can. But uh, like I said, I, I generally like to use a medium heavy um, rod. Uh, preferably like a seven foot medium heavy they'll give you a little bit uh, more leverage for casting and uh, it'll give you a little bit more play in the rod to actually fight them so anyway uh, that's what I got that's the rig um, like I said there's nothing really fancy about it just uh, one more time for you guys it's just braid um, your float above your knot it's a uni to uni knot to 30 pound uh, monofilament this is Berkeley big game and then just uh, tie that on to a small bronze bait holder hook and you're golden. Um, nothing high tech about it, nothing fancy, just what I figure out what works. So anyway, hope this helps you guys out. If you have any more uh, questions, feel free to contact me uh, via Facebook or messaging, email, um, however you can. If, if you need me to help you out a little bit more, I'd be more than happy to do it. So anyway, guys, have a good one.